What do you think about that? I call that a turning point. The energy has shifted. We're bringing in a little bit of uh, heavy metal flavor, right? So I am a metal fan. Let me get my art table kicking. Activate, activate. Bam. Here that is. All right. I got out of bed 20 minutes ago. Had a Thanksgiving dinner last night over at my brother's house. Good stuff. Good stuff. A little bit of a, a food hangover. But, uh, you know, out of bed late. The day's trying to stack itself against us, but we got the mindset where it's stacking itself for us. We want it to be difficult, because we want to jump over every one of those hurdles. Alright. Let's kick up. Caballion. We got, we're bringing up the Caballion right now. Let's see if the... Alright, the link works. All right, let's go right into it. I found a, I didn't find it. It's a website. It's been around Pixabay. They have a lot of uh, free for commercial use images. So we're going to be using some photos from that over the next few months. I'm actually excited to get a new watercolor sketchbook. I have uh, one that I'm got made at the print shop i don't have it in here i have it out in the living room I was looking at it but i bought some of this stuff here Just look at the camera all right it's a it's a certain percentage cotton it's hot press right hot press means smooth most of the time 25 percent cotton so I've got this busted in half. I got them to uh, bind it. I got them to perf it, then bind it. So it's spiral bound with a perf so we can do clean tears after we're done painting on it. Then I got them to glue the edges so it's like a block. That way I don't have to worry about the, the paper turning into cooked bacon on me. Because that's, you know, that's a little bit of the problem. The sketchbook over here gets to look. The crinkles in it and whatnot. But uh, yeah, so I set up. Hang on. Bear with me. Hide the browser real quick. So I set up. See it over there. It's my tablet, right? Today I started the show by hitting that button right there. Touch portal. Pretty cool program. It works like a stream deck. I don't know if you know what a stream deck is. It's what all the young people use for streaming. So you got, they're basically hotkeys for the visual representation, right? Uh, I'm going to show you a few later. I've already got, gotten started making a few uh, to spice this thing up. Uh, went up to work with my wife this weekend, and we made, she helped me make a video for when I use the hairdryer, so can't wait to show you that. That's fun stuff. A little over the top, a little crazy. I won't be using it every time, or you'll hate me, but a couple, every now and again, I'll use it, and it'll, uh, it'll bring the energy up. Sometimes you'll need to bring the energy up. Speaking of energy, I'll take my jacket off. <clears throat> Barely got the dog out to use the bathroom. It was running so late this morning. Um, 
Yeah, so I had an old guitar riff laying around, as you can see. I'm back back there. There's my guitar. I noodle on that. If you knew the money I've spent on that stuff for how little I played it, um, I should be slapped upside the head pretty hard. But now I can't say I haven't used it three times, no, four times in videos. Um, when I launched my older comic, Citizen Jack, uh, with Image Comics, I ended up making a couple videos using the music software. Pretty cool stuff. But yeah, I figured I'd uh, make a logo opening instead of that countdown. A little dead, right? Let's start the energy off right with some uh, sweet, sweet metal licks. Turn the browser back on. Um, yeah, I don't know that I'm in the headspace to do the goodbye today. We're going to do this or no? Let's do it. I can just read from it. We'll talk about this next time. Because i got to tiptoe through the tulips from talking about this one. Um, gender is everything. Everything has its masculine and feminine principles. Gender manifest on all planes, the Kabbalion. The great seventh hermetic principle, the principle of gender, embodies the truth that there is gender manifested in everything, that the masculine and feminine principles are ever-present and active in all phases of phenomena on each and every plane of life. At this point, we think it would we think it well to call your attention to the fact that gender, in its hermetic sense, and sex, in the ordinarily accepted use of the term, are not the same. Um, the word gender is derived from the Latin root meaning to beget, to procreate, to generate, to create, to produce. A moment's consideration will show you that the word has a much broader and more general meaning than the term sex. The latter referred to the physical distinction between male and female living things. Sex is merely a manifestation of gender on a certain plane of the great physical plane, the plane of organic life. We wish to impress this distinction upon your minds for the reason that certain writers who have acquired a smattering of hermetic philosophy have sought to identify this seventh hermetic principle with wild, fanciful, and often reprehensible theories and teachings regarding sex. I think uh, Hermes Trismegistus is... Uh, I think you might be calling out our boy Sigmund Freud a little bit. But uh, later on, Jung separated from Freud because they started seeing the world a little differently. And, you know, I haven't looked into Freud enough, but he's he's known as the guy that's just like, sex, 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 repressed sex, blah, 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 right? So, whatever with that guy. Jung took, he went next level, started talking about the archetypes, right? And, uh, the, was it anime and animus? So, we'll talk about that more. Like I said, probably not in the best headspace to talk about that today. So, yeah, a lot of cool stuff this weekend. Uh, we're, we're starting to level up big time. Let's go. Do some painting. I don't know why that camera is so big there now. Okay, so select dark table, right? Lock. White background. Lock. Webcam. Gotcha. I want to set up a thing called move transitions. So a lot of this stuff is going to start looking smoother and smoother. All right, so this is the pick we're going to be using. It's, uh, I believe, Mos Moscow in the wintertime. So that being said, give me a couple seconds. Go to my folder, archetype. I'm in the archetypes, folder, photos, 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 three levels deep for some reason. Vintar. 
You know what? Hang in there. Go off to the side. Doing it. He's getting he's grabbing the good stuff. Rob, what you going on about? <coughs> Chill, brother. <coughs> Rob, you need to chill to the next episode. Real. Right to finish. Up cropping it. Like I'm gonna trust the printer to crop it and make a artistic decision. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Right, we're printing on some fancy paper. Oops, no we're not. Gotta plug the printer in. I had to, everything taken up to work. Retrieving data. All right. In the meantime, oh, I filled my water up. All right. Bear with me. Think about that metal riff I played you to open the show. I'll be back in like five seconds. <laughs> Uh-huh. Shoot, doggy. Turn it up. Way darker than it looks on the screen. I was hoping to... Well, I know what's there. This'll do. Oops, I knew something was up. I ran and got my light at the last second and forgot all about it. Forgot to turn it on. Yeah, it was a little dark, wasn't it? Okie doke. Get this guy up here. This one's going to be, we're going to be rocking some blue on this one. I'm actually going to pull this up on the computer screen over here, because what printed is... There we go. That's a little better. Yeah, what printed is way too dark. The printer's like, I'll make your artistic decision. I got it right here, buddy. All right, we're going to get the paper wet. Bang your head. Mental health will drive you mad. A little green in there, huh? Might hit that with a little yellow. Maybe. This lighter yellow over here. Right. So we got the like almost mustardy school bus. Yeah. Lighter yellow. So 
That's the one. That's the one we'll use. Minimize it so I can see my screen a little bit over here. Hey, what? We're in shambles right now. But we got no quit in us. Okie doke. So my brother has had literally like 20 back and neck surgeries. And it's a tradition for him to show us his scars every year. And we were over there maybe 20 minutes and he had already ripped his shirt off showing us his, the scars on his uh, upper neck. The, you know where your spine becomes your neck? You got that one vertebrae that's just like a little bit of more of a knot than the others. Well, the the muscle and all that keeps separating on him at that area. And he's had like three surgeries on it, I think he said. Yeah, not fun, not fun stuff. I need a lot of water. So my daughter went over with us and introduced her boyfriend to the rest of the family. I didn't slow my brother down any. He said, let me show you my scars. While, while we're eating. I uh, love him. Wouldn't have him any other way. He's a fruitcake. Alright, so it's a little lighter in this area versus around here and definitely darker over here. So, let's... Let's add more color there, then. Oh, those trees are starting to go over like that. Mm. Mm. All right, just hint, just hinting at it. It doesn't have to be perfect. That reminds me. Yeah. So here's what we're after: the simple statement. I was uh, rereading my Nathan Fox book. That's one of the principles in it. The simple statement. So you start simple, right? Anytime I'm drawing comics, for whatever reason, like I'll have a, a malfunction, and when I'm drawing, I'll try to skip a step, right? So in uh, drawing, in figure drawing, drawing buildings, all that, the the most important part, other than conceiving it in the initial thumbnail, is the construction of it, right? That's getting your your foundation there, not the detail, not the shadows, the construction of the objects, the simple forms. And I am always, not always, but I sometimes just. For whatever reason, oh, hey, guess what? I'm, I'm not going to do that this time. And without fail, without fail, it'll, it'll suck. It'll mess up. I'm not happy. The dog's not happy. All right. So guess what? Here we go. One thousand eight hundred 
75 watts. Let's try it out. Let's try out our new button. You ready? Deep breath. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Definitely going to need to uh, sop it up. Remember I was telling you about the, the book I was reading? I bounce around in a few books. The Design of Everyday Things is one of them. The slide on that, to turn it, like you go up for high, down for low, and in the middle is off. Mm, terrible design. It always slides up or down too far when you're trying to turn it off or, or whatever. There should be a like the push button, like three buttons. Just my two cents. Right. I think. Yeah. I think we're gonna go for the little bit of that yellow right now. We're gonna go the light blue. A touch of the powdery yellow. Can tell a little difference. Let's go one more round on that. And I'm, I'm keeping in mind the the tris. Not the Hermes Tris, Magistus, just the Tris. Right, and that's lighter. That's actually lighter than... Oh, I kind of need to sop a little bit up right there. Even though it's going to dry lighter. Well, I don't like the way that looked at all. Well, we're going for it. I guess this one is going to have some texture. Right? Which makes sense. Because that's one of the things that was lost in the my uh, reference I printed out. The mottled snow look that it has. So, dude, you know who would be like pumped up right now? So we messed up and we're fixing it. Our boy right here, Bob Ross. He'd be pumped up. He'd be losing his mind right now. Happy accidents. He'd be beside himself. All right. Well, this one's going to be an easy one. Oh, well. I got about eight different desserts in there in the kitchen. I'm going to go eat. Then I'm going to have a broken out. My rosacea will be like super, super bad. I'll look like an infected tomato tomorrow. Just beet red with pustules coming out. Right? No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that to you. Wouldn't dare. Being good looking is a mindset, let me tell you. Now that I'm uh, 
on camera every day. Definitely showing some restraint at the Thanksgiving dinner. Alright, so we're going to go start making some tree branches now. We're going to be making these things for a while. Look at that. That's fractal. Keep going and going and going. I almost want to try a texture. If I could make a texture. Something. Hmm. If I could bundle up some wires. Let's think about this. Let's think. Got some old cables I could strip the copper out of, but a lot of times in that, I mean, it's the fine line stuff. I have. Well, maybe next time. All right. See, that's something that I'll be adding. I'm going to put my brain to work, and I'm going to solve that problem for me. And uh, you can gladly have whatever I figure out, right? Or maybe you can figure out something that'll work even better. And leave a comment and let me know. Say, comment guy, this is what you do, buddy. All right. I think in this early step, especially with uh, this area, this area, right? I think I want some bloom back there. So I want it a little wet. And remember, you're not going to be able to draw this. Well, you could if you wanted to waste your life. You could draw this picture perfect. But why would you do that to yourself, right? We want to process it through our own filter. And their academic studies were as real as they want to be. Your live crew. All right, so start making our strokes this way. Pushing off. Just can't. I'm running out of the black paint. I need to get my tube out. I got enough for today. I got uh, another Walmart special, right? So I didn't get this at Walmart, the round paint set. I got it off. I got it at the campus bookstore, the university bookstore, actually. Here's this tree limb, half dead. Out here messing up the flow of everything. Not getting much bloom at all, are we? But we'll let this dry. And whenever we do the super, super, super thin ones, we'll beat it into submission and make it bloom. I've dipped it in the black paint like three times. And there we go. Finally. Oh, wow. Well, that was too dark. It didn't happen. Don't worry about that. That didn't happen. Bloom. Well, now, now you're going to bloom. Oops. Did you see that? 
accidentally flicked a blob over here. So it looks like the water's going to want to run. Let's turn this. Let's make it work for us, right? Yeah, run down that way, Daddy. Turn my... reference on its side over here. We're just like I don't know what's gonna happen. I'll be honest with you. I'm thinking I can get it to bloom in a way that makes sense. I mean, here, bloom, fool. Till I hung out with my family, <laughs> sounding country. Bloom, fool. Nothing wrong with that, right? We ain't play a hating on ourselves, are we? Country. So evidently the deer over in uh, Tennessee, like my brother lives right over the Tennessee border. The deer over there are coming down with the Mad cow disease, the prions disease. Let's get a little bit of that black out of there and start going. Oops. One billion five trillion eight hundred and seventy five watts dry style. Remember that? Remember when I did that? I bet y'all were like, What? What is happening? All right, <laughs> here we go. We went from, oh, this one isn't going to have a valley of disappointment to, uh, I don't know what is going on now. We're bloomers, right? Bloomers bloom. <sighs> bloomers bloom. I have a feeling that the cotton paper will work for blooming. Uh, quite a bit better than this. Correct that whip strap mean Megaton Leviathan. Any Judas Priest fans in the house? Yeah? All of you, right? I think my opening riff there sounds a little bit like uh, some Queen's back. I don't know what that is. Chris DeGarmo. Seattle guitar legend. He's good. Boy, good. Right? It's it's turning out 
quite a bit darker than I wanted. But lesson learned. I went too heavy on the blacks. Alright. Time. We're good, doing good on time. We're going to get our fence post in after we dry it some. Wipe up my drawing table a little bit. It's drenched. Workable. <laughs> I'm not scared to fail, are you? Not scared at all. Mama, hold me. Well. Wow. Dried up my paints up here. <sighs> to rotate my reference, bro. All right. I have a fan brush. I wonder if that would work. Fan brush. Go, buddy. Ah. So, let's try this out. Mm -hmm. Lighter with it. Pop it. Pop it. And it does something. Imagine a more expensive fan brush with more. Accurate to what I'm thinking it would do. Control. That ugly old lamb is just there. Messing up the whole show. Alright. 
Fan brush? Not a fan. Let's do the post. I don't know that that post is right there in the painting, but I bumped it over to the third, right? We're closer to the third. Lighter. Here into the distance. So. <laughs> you make a lot of sound effects when I paint. Apologize. Please forgive me. is a dry look. A little bit of a dry brush tick. A little bit. Just beat the crap out of it. It's like a, what you call it? Oil painting. The horizon line. Don't worry, we can we can bring these fellas back. All right, we're getting there. Just not a fan of how that the blooming and all that worked. This one might would have. Tell you what, tomorrow we'll do something similar to this one. We're going to do better paper. And I'm going to try a little bit slower of a technique, right? No rat race tomorrow. No getting out of bed at 
You might have learned more from this one than any one I've done so far, right? That's good. Let's see what we can't do. Since it's not doing what we want to do, what we want it to do, what can we get it to do that might be cool, right? So I'm just going to get after it. Bringing back the big guns. Well, I'll tell you what happened. We didn't go for that simple statement. I got distracted trying to draw these goofy tree branches. Yep, that's exactly what happened. Thus, the simple statement failed. But we show our work around here. Or else we wouldn't have a show. Now you're going to bloom? Now you're going to bloom like I want you to bloom? That's what I thought. Paper is about gone, too. Daddy, oh, this is <laughs> not looking good. Tell you what, we're going to smash through the one tomorrow, and it's going to look so good. So good. Right? Might as well. Might as well. See? Now it's starting to look a little cool. Almost got a yin yang thing going. Tell you what, I'm gonna spray it down some more. And then we're gonna leave it and see how it dries overnight throughout the day. Or in 10 minutes, because I got this. The heat on an event is really something special. Ah, I know what we can do. Let's try out something real quick. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Let me put the headphones on with one hand. What? Got some uh, salt. It's snowing, right? It's snowing. <laughs> what if uh, when it snowed, it was just salt? Kids run out, lick their tongues out. It's snowing. Next thing you know, they're all wilted. 
puckered up from all the salt. <laughs> mama, dehydrated, mama. Right. I think that's good. Pinch of salt. Okay. So we're going to leave that and see what it looks like tomorrow. Oh, I want to show you, uh, I got, I got me a, I made an overlay in After Effects. And whenever we're thinking, you've seen that Zach Galifianakis meme? The GIF, like all the math models? Look, I made one. We're thinking about this one. Thinking about it, thinking about it. Pretty cool, right? Told you. Leveling up. It's turning into almost like a dreamy fantasy painting. It almost... I might could grab the colored pencils after it dries and draw some sort of creature coming in up here on this side. I might could. Not that I will. Well, anyway. Alright, we're cutting it a little short today. I'm gonna go... Uh smash through some more barriers. I got uh, quite a few corrections I have to do on some drawings I did. And then we got to finish one page and get it all turned in. And just know that I appreciate you being here. The thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, I'm going to stop it with my button over here.